What's up, savages? Thank you for uh, for those of you that have been following the video series here on how to model the Mandalorian helmet. So far, it was an exciting experience making this helmet. Learned a lot about topology and modeling overall. I've actually gone on and made an MF Doom uh, face mask after making this a project here. All right, so up next, we're going to make this back part here. No idea what that is. But first, we're going to fix uh, this part here of the helmet, the jawline or whatever you want to call that right there. Uh, so currently right now, we have it flat, and we're going to fix that up. But if you'd like to support the channel, please subscribe, like, comment, share the video. Any interaction will uh, greatly help the, uh, the Google, sorry, the YouTube analytics, uh, the YouTube algorithm, and help me get more viewers. So uh, enjoy the ride. Thank you. So let's see what we got here inside these uh, images. And where's the other image? There we go. I hope to accidentally hit the ears. There we go. So that's what we got so far. So the helmet is smoothed out. We got the extra pieces there. We got the earpiece, uh, the ridge up top. We just got to smooth them out. So let's do that next. Let's start out with the top here. All right. Add modifier, subdivision surface. Bam. And notice I do, I'm doing the subdivision surface after the rest of the modeling there. One for front view. All right. Looking smooth. Let's increase this here. Let's try three. Cool. Looking good. All right. Let's try four. If you can do four, go for it. If not, uh, be careful. Your computer just might crash. Your computers love to crash. All right. <clears throat> so I need to pull this forward more. Let's check out my side picture over here. All right, so it's looking nice and smooth. I got that ridge in there. But uh, I got to pull up these faces here. So for the front of it to look uh, neater there. All right, select that there, tab key. And I think it's this face there. All right, let's try RZ. I'm gonna rotate it out. Oops, it's not gonna work. Let me try vertex selection, select that vertex there, set for top view, decimal key, G for grab, and we're going out this way. Or for front view. Looking better, looking better. Let's go forward more a bit, or should we go out? Let's go out, see what happens. Or else looking good. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh. And cool. And it does seem to have that diamond shape. Nope, not yet. So there's a triangular shape down there. So let's see if we pull this up. Oh, there we go. And then we're going to have to pull that inward now. Oh, uh, nope. So I think what we'll do it is. Um, it's in a geometry here for that shape, but we do kind of got it. It's getting too wide. All right. So it looks cool there. Tab key. Looks smooth. Tab key. Let me see this one. Let me move this one inward. Oh, there's one behind it. Let's see if we can select both of them. One from you, G, we're going in. Cool, there we go. It's helping out the shape there. Maybe now I can bring this one back. I'll just leave it out there. All right, tab key. Cool, cool, cool. Let's check out the back over there, see how we're looking, control one. And so we gotta maybe make it wider around there. It seems to get a little narrow. So tab key, and then G for grab. Let's try this whole edge then. G for grab. Nope. Let's add a cut in there. See what happens. And vertex selection. G for grab. There we go. And this bottom part here looking good. And what's the back supposed to look like? And it seems to be flatter down here. But uh, also kind of the diamond shape, so we're good there. That's looking cool. <clears throat> All right, let's do this back part here. We'll do this part here last, the ear part. That's actually the harder part. All right, so subdivision surface modifier on this bad boy here. And modifier, subdivision, subdivision surface. There we go. Cool. Got destroyed. No problem. We'll fix it right now. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so A, hey, select all. X key. Limited dissolve, get rid of some of the necessary geometry. All right, did that work or did that destroy it further? Let's see, undo. 
and let's select the this edge out here in the outline up top. Nope, not that one. Let's see, A select all, X key limited dissolve. I can still fix this here. Shift Z. It's going to select the, she's got a face selection. Shift Z, select this whole top face. And then Shift E, sharpen up that top. There we go. And select the side right here. Shift E, sharpen that up. Bam. All right. And just like the whole thing, Shift E, sharpen it up. There we go, tab key. It's looking neater, except for right here. There's this gap down here that I'm not liking. And I think it's this whole edge running down the middle. Let's see if I can get rid of it. I'm trying to select it. Let's see here. Shift Z. And let's see if I can go to edge selection. Oh, I couldn't select it because I was in face. I'll just select the one that's in the back on the on the geometry there. It seems to go all the way up. And deselect these there. Alright, Shift Z. And I don't need this part or that part. I just want the back of it there. Is there one on the front? Actually, I did want this one here. There we go. All right. This one I don't need. There we go. X key dissolve edges. See that it helps out. Did not help out. Let's see. Shift E. Is that going to make it better? Nope. And let me try this corner here. Actually, I'll just do this. I'll just make a new cut right here. Control R. And I'm going to cut. I'm trying to try to cut through here, but it's not letting me. I'm trying to cut the inside of this cube. Shift Z. Maybe it was cutting. I couldn't see. Control R. Give me a cut there. Control R. There we go. Hmm. All right. Control R. And going out. Did that help me out? Nope, undo. They kind of up on the bottom. Let's do that anyways. And the bottom there sharper. Control R, another cut this way. Oh. So we don't got that up top. Sorta. Well, there's an edge in here somewhere. There it is. Let me make that one sharper. Shift E. There we go. And this cut is going where? The cut shouldn't be going like that. And then me select this vertex. And then when I push that one back, shift V. There we go. Fix that there. So maybe I got something like that down here. Shift Z. And what's going on is I don't have a. Uh, Corresponding edge to the other side, do I? There it is. Nope, I should have an edge from here to the back, but I don't. I need another edge here to support this section. That's what's going on with this here. There's not a, should be a back wall in there. I think I deleted it earlier. Let's see, face selection. Yep, let me see what happens. Move it back, GY. That section works there. <clears throat> X key dissolve faces. Nope. So I'm trying to figure this here out. There's a loop cut through there. And then what's the geometry of this face? All right. So it looks like it cuts through there. Diamond sh a triangle shape. Yeah, there should be another vertex over here. So what I'm going to do is extrude from here. E Y, and we're going back. See what the um, the Y coordinate for this is. N key. 
and it's this right here, control C copy. Oh, let me get the same for this one. Oops, was that one negative? Did I not copy the negative? Oh, I hit the wrong button. There we go. And what the heck's going on? Undo, undo, undo. All right, so that's uh, this way is Y. Yep, that's the Y axis. So then what's going on there? Copy the Y. Select this vertex. And Y. And why do we go that way? It should be whatever this one is right here. There it is. I think I had the wrong one. Control C copy. There we go. And now I can join these here. J for join. Cannot join. All right. Well, I'll get rid of this vertex, this edge right here. X key dissolve edges. There we go. Oops. I don't want to get rid of that um, that uh, that vertex over there. I need that vertex. So then, how do I join these here? J's not working, so then I got to extrude one from over here. And then extruding, hold on shift, M, merge at last. Cool, there we go, so I got the geometry there. Now I can try getting rid of this edge, dissolve edges, there we go. And now I can make a face right here, because there's currently no face there. Shift Z, should be empty in there. There we go, F for fill. All right, so now, I got to finish making the, got to rebuild this whole thing. What happened? I must have got rid of it on the, I must have gotten uh, rid of it on the uh, limited dissolve. And I was making that back part there. All right, let's see what this, ver what this vertex leads. I'm all the way down there. This whole back wall was gone. There was a whole back wall down there. So, edge selection, selecting this edge there. And we're going to extrude up. Well, what's this edge right here? No. That's what's left over. So control 1. I'm just going to extrude out from there. And we can't because that's on the member plane. So I'm going to select the bottom one here and then extrude up from there. Control 1. E to extrude. Z key. And right about there, let's go up there so we can rebuild that part of the wall. Cheesy. All right, vertex selection there. And see that one over there too. Need a vertex there, and there is. Cool. F for fill, see what I get. Triangular face, not what I'm looking for. I need a vertex right over there, and there's no vertex there for some reason. So, uh, Let's see, not one in that area either. What's going on? Let's see if at least I got something better going on there. <clears throat> yeah, so I don't got that blemish that was down there, or do I? All right, but I still got to fix this wall up here. The back wall. All right, now I lost it. There it is, and it's a flat line there. And then I need a vertex right here. Need a vertex right in there. I'm gonna subdivide those. Select that vertex. I'm gonna bring it up. Shift V. Keep it on the on the. Where is it at now? Cool. Keep it on the edge, and then I'm gonna do the same thing here. Shift D, wrong button. Actually, I just undo and then subdivide. That's what I needed to do. There we go. Select this one and that one, and we'll merge it the last one there. Merge that last. There it is. Make sure we got the whole section. There we go. It did. Now I can use this to finish making my wall here because this should line up with this one right here. Yep, F for fill. And I'm going to delete this uh, this edge right here. Next key, dissolve edges. Dissolve edges. There we go. Next key, dissolve edges. 
and still have that diagonal face there or edge. Twelve edges. Wow, doesn't want to get rid of the edges, huh? Just delete the edges. There we go. All right. And so now I can fill in this face that I have here. And then I just set up effort fill. There we go. Bam. All right. So see the geometry now. <clears throat> and I have a big hole in there that I also accidentally made. I can fill that in as well. All right. Where is it going to fill in from? And what is that? Oh, well, it meets there, right? Oops. So that connects there. F for fill. There we go. There we go. And then I can also just shift E that and sharpen that up. Cool. Not like in this corner there. Shift E. Why do I have this here? See if there's anything that leads up from here. <clears throat> and it's from this right there. Shift V. Nope, it's not from that either. So why do I have this here? Edge selection. Shift D. All right, so he's got rid of that down there. Something up with that back face though. What is wrong with that face? There's some extra geometry still there. What is up with this V? And it's this edge right here that should have not been sharpened. <clears throat> edge selection. Shift D. Boom. Got rid of something there. I saw it. Let's get that section there. And all right, so I'm trying to think it should be easier not to have the subdivision service modifier, so let me just delete it and see what I have there. And it's supposed to be kind of round, right? So I'm just going to get rid of it there without it. And then select the... I can try to bevel these edges here. Uh, I think I'm cool. I'm just going to leave them like that. All right. Looks cool. Looks good. Control 1. All right. And now for the ear part here. 3 for right view. And let me get, let me just hide these planes. They're going to get in my way. And just have the one back there for reference. Nope, not that one. That one's cool there. All right, subdivision surface modifier. Here we go. Cool. Looks so nasty. So let's start fixing that up. So I'm going to hold down the alternate key, select this outer edge there. And did he get that there? Oh, yeah, it's because of that edge there. So let's go with this edge here. And alternate shift. Alternate shift. There we go. This outermost edge right here. All right. I'm going to shift E. Sharpen that up right there. And let's get this inner part here. Shift E. Sharpen that up. There we go. The inside looks white too, so we just got to select the uh, the edges there on the inside. All right. Let's see. Did I get it? Yep. I'll turn the shift, get these other ones down here. And there we go. Oh, this one right here. Nope, not that one. Ah, uh, one right there. Shift Z. Shift D. Let's go. Uh, how round do I want it? Let's check out this picture here. 
let's make it it's kind of leave it like that we'll just do the uh, we'll do a little bit or a lot of it let's do at least do these side ones right here sharpen up this side and then we'll see how it looks from there uh, these right here shift D there we go tab key this is the way and then maybe I should do the back one there too Shift D. Cool, that's looking cool. All right. And then I want to make these here sharp. Shift D. Let's see what that slot looks like. Is it round? Let's have some roundness to it. This one's still round. Yep. And the bottom one is a little more straight, a little more sharp. This bottom one's gonna definitely going to be sharper. And I got rid of that mirror modifier, so I got to select all those parts there. All right. So here we go. Shift D. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Looks like I got to select the inside part there. So it's going to be around there. There we go. Nope. There we go. I got it there. And the whole thing, I guess. not that edge there all right and for the back part as well and oops trying to deselect these right here there we go i don't want that whole face selecting and then i guess that part too All right, Shift D, Shift Z, and then, all right, so Shift D, this is sharper, it's looking sharperish. So that's kind of off there, so I just got to select that one too. And then we'll select these as well. There we go, that one's selected on one side, one selected on that side, Shift E. There we go. And then this ear part here should be a little sharper too, so I've already beveled it. So let's see what happens if I sharpen it from here, Shift E. Nothing. And I'll sharpen it from the bottom. <clears throat> Alright. Shift Z. Shift Z again. And we're going to try to select these here. There we go. Alternate shift. One for front view, three for right view. Shift D. There we go. Cool. How's it looking up there? All right. Let's bring this one in closer. GX. Let's put you like back here, Brad. All right, that's looking cool. This one right here. Uh, let's see, it's like another level dimension there. Oh, I'm just gonna ignore it for now. What I can do is maybe move these back here. Let's select the whole edge, and then GX. There we go. So then I gotta means I gotta move these as well. GX. Let's roll that scaling down I did. No, I shouldn't have scaled it in. Oh, that's cool. And then what I can do is make a small piece here, a small extrusion for that part there. I'm trying to select that face. I did get it. Cool. And then extrude out a bit just for that little chunk. And oops, it's going to need some of this too, some of the sharpening. Undo, control Z, redo. 
select that edge there edge 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 shift D not that sharp looking why not a selection shift D set this edge right here uh, I gotta make geometry for it so then I'm gonna make a vertex between these two actually does it join there nope so I gotta make a vertex between those two there on this edge and just select this one edge here what the heck subdivide vertex selection select that vertex select that one merge at last there we go gotta build it up there and I gotta do the same thing with that one but no one's gonna notice they're not gonna know all right so now this one right here let's loop select this section here Oh, I forgot I got rid of the mirror modifier. Darn. And we're going to select this one there. And that one back there as well. Shift E. And undo. I got to select the other edges in the inside as well. So Shift Z. And I got to get this edge here. Cool, I got it. I wasn't sure what I was going to get at that time. Shift Z. Shift E. Looks a little neater. It looks like I gotta get the ones in the back as well. Nope. Alright, let's try it again. Shift E. Well, let's try this outside part first then. Shift E. Oh, forgot this one. Shift E. There we go. And what's going on right here is it because of this bad boy here. Next key dissolve edges. It's that center edge that I never wanted. Just from the mirror, dissolve edges. There we go. And let me see if I select this edge back there. Shift E. There we go. Sharpen that up there. This is the way, bruh. Alright. And then this one. I just sharpen all of them. Actually, it might give me problems like earlier. So, let me just select parts of it here. So, I'm going to hold down Shift and Alt Shift. Click this end loop here. And, uh, not looping anything. I will select it's gonna be these here, this one, this one, this top one, and this bottom one there. This bottom one's right here. And there we go. Shift E, dropping them up. Oh, I need this one right here. Come on, brat. There, nope, not that one. This one right there. There we go. Shift E. Still looks whack. Let's go to face selection. And select these faces right here. All right. Shift E. What's going on up there? Oops, I know. It's going to be these edges here. And there's another face over here. So that mirror modifier. Shift E. All right, tab key. Cool. I'm not at all up with that. Why are you doing this to me? Why am I getting that there? Alright, fine. That's looking cool there. Could that be from the tilt from earlier, from when I tilted it? And then these just sharpen the whole thing right here. Undo. L key on this bad boy. Shift E. And then I get rid of it either. Control R. Let's see. Shift V, we're going down. Did I get rid of it? Control R. Let me 
make a new one down there. So I'm gonna get rid of it. Maybe if I had two of them, see what happens there. Oh, cool. I might be doing it there. Tab key. Cool. That helped me out there. Smooth it out again. All right, all right, all right. <clears throat> There we go. And maybe I want to do something with these faces here so that I look a little more beveled. As for scale, nope, it's not going to do it. And what if I uh, select this whole loop around here? Will be and mess up that buckle right there. But how's that buckle looking on the sign? Uh, should be sharper. We'll just undo that, or maybe not bevel those there. And I'll just leave it. Very cool there. <clears throat> Always remember these right here were supposed to look sharp. These edges, so. We'll enough to uh, sharpen these up right here. There we go. Shifty. Bam. Bam. There we go. Heck yeah. And I think I'm going to bring this part here down so that this is more noticeable here. GZ. There we go. And I'll move this one out. This one here on the outside. GY. GY. There we go. And then I could bring these down too. GZ. Oh, what's going on there? And we'll leave it like that. Keep a right view. Cool, cool, cool. These right here we can bring in. GY. Oh, we'll leave it like that. All right, all right, all right, all right. And there we also got all that smoothed out. And inside the rest there, and render viewport shader. Cool, it's got a nice smooth looking helmet here. So what we got to do right now is just uh, color it and do all the cool, fun, neat stuff there. So it'll be in the next one. Just add the final touches, fix up the front of the helmet here. Well, oh, it looks fine now. And uh, color it, add an HR file, make a quick animation, and we're done. Uh, thank you for watching. If you like the channel, please subscribe, like, uh, comment, watch the whole video. <laughs> please try it yourself. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching. Have an awesome day. Bye.